Hi guys, welcome to Coding Beetle and in this video we will see how to configure database in our Twill application. So to configure our database, first we have to go in the config folder in our app and then we have to go in the development folder because as this is a development page, we are developing this website, we have to go in the development folder. There we will find db.php. In db.php, we have to, in db name, we have to give the name of your database. Let's see what is the name of our database. I have already created a database with the name fuel underscore blog. Let's write, write that here. That will be fuel underscore blog. And then you have to give the username of your database and then password. I don't have any password, so I will leave it as blank. And then save it and close it. And and the thing we have to do before by interaction with our database that is in the config.php in config folder we have to search for always load let's see where it is see always load in the always load here as you can see we have to call always load to load a package every time so Let's go here and write always load and it will just give an array and in the array you will load always load packages and in packages will be stored in an array and we will load ORM that is the ORM package ORM package basically helps in interaction with the database by making models so now to interact with our database we have to create a model in the model folder and we have to give it, give it the name as post and that will be post.php because as it, is, as it is of posts here you can see I have created the table with the name posts so we have to give the name post without the s and now let's start our php tab and here we have to create a class and the class name will be the same as our file name that will be model underscore then the file name is post and then it would extend the warm package and model and in that there will be a protected and then we will put the properties in our database that means the columns of our database in the dollar underscore properties variable that will be a protected static variable and we will store those in array so let's see what are the columns we have let's see the structure you can see we have id title category body tags and create date so we will add id then title then we will category then body then tags and uh, try to keep it in a sequential way so that you don't miss anything and then we have create date And let's see, we have one, two, three, four, six. Okay, we have six columns in our post data, uh, table. Now let's pass the values in our website. So I have already inserted some demo values in our database, in our table. So now what we have to do is we have to create a variable 
that will be basically posts and then we will call the model post and then we have to find we will find all the values in it in that table and after finding all the values in that table we have to pass the values in our data variable in the array so that will be posts and this post this very this will be the variable that will pass to the next page and this will be okay, this is the variable in which we stored all the data from our table okay with that done let's go in our index page and in the index page we will just run a for each loop in php for each post as post means we have to take we will take a single post from the posts variable we will just take out one of them and then at the end we have to include the ending of our for each loop that will be end for each and the rest of the things we don't don't need here so after moving this uh, let's see here we'll put the title so to put the title we just do post that will be this post and in that post we'll take the title and this title is the uh, name of the column name from our database and uh, the same it will go for the created date and the comment part we don't need here we we'll just move this and here it will be created date and this part will be the body if i'm not wrong it was body and uh, for now let's just check that we have done it correct or wrong for that let's go to our website and refresh this okay there was an error let's see what's the name that is not created date that is create date all right so we we'll move and create date and let's refresh it now and here you can see we got this post but uh, another thing i want to show you here is that we are getting this as a whole means all the things are showing in this but we don't want to show all the things and you can see the p tags are also showing here but we don't want to show any html tags in our blog so to remove that tags or give uh, make it work as html we have to pass a third parameter in our view for that will be false we will just say that we don't want to print the html tag instead we want to print the html tag as it should print so now refresh and you can see a nice beautiful para is created here and uh, another thing i want to do is i don't want to show all these things in the same page so to do that in the index page we will put the body in a string class that will truncate truncate the values and then the next parameter will tell that how many characters we want to show and if now we refresh you can see 200 characters will be shown you can see only 200 characters is shown and then the triple dot is given to show that there are many other things but we are not showing that now 
so this is for this video guys and i'll meet you in the next video till then take care and goodbye